I'm an elite athlete, so I'd been through some really bad injuries, but this is just one that would not go away, and it was there for two or three years. A high-flying 200-game AFL career left his body crippled with severe osteoarthritis. I think about the pain, just trying to get from the bedroom to the kitchen. Um, I was leaning on walls because I couldn't put any weight through my foot because there was so much uh, pain going through my knee. And I think uh, by the end of my career, was, uh, I was having about 120 meals drained from my knee weekly. This is a spot here where I used to have it drained two or three times a week and in the last 12 months haven't had it drained once. 12 months ago I was playing AFL footy and I was in 10 out of 10 pain. 12 months later I'm playing local level footy, I'm really active with my kids again. Um, I'm going for walks every single night, I'm back running and pain scale I'd be a, a one or a two. The NFL, the NBA, the baseball, these are major league sports that have these injuries on a regular basis for which there is no current treatment. The market size for treating chronic pain in osteoarthritis is around $5 billion US per annum. The total cost to the healthcare system for treating osteoarthritis is $128 billion per annum. Paradigm Biopharmaceuticals focuses on repurposing the drug pentazan polysulfate. Repurposing a drug is taking a drug that's been through the regulatory pathway and finding a new clinical indication. The drug pentazan polysulfate, or PPS, is currently registered in the United States in an oral form for treating painful bladder syndrome. Paradigm Biopharmaceuticals is repurposing the injectable form of PPS for an orthopaedic indication. Our first case study that was published in a peer-reviewed journal is in relation to a 70-year-old female who had advanced osteoarthritis with her pre-PPS treatment pain score of 8 out of 10 on a numerical rating score of 0 to 10. She was rating her pain at 8, which is quite extreme. After PPS, her pain scores went from eight to zero, so complete removal of the pain. We also have objective clinical data, that being a MRI. I went back and had my final MRI and it was gone. Drug repurposing provides a number of advantages for the astute investor. Some of the benefits include that it's a much shorter path to getting a product to market in terms of time. A de novo or a new drug can take up to 15 to 18 years to get through the regulatory pathway and onto the market. Repurposed drugs on average take between three and five years to get to market. And the average cost of repurposing a drug and getting it to market is in the region of 30 to 50 million US dollars. That's contrasted with new drug development that is now estimated to take in the region of 2 billion US dollars to bring a product to market. Repurposed drugs, because they've been through the regulatory pathway before, mean that they often are got a much higher success rate of getting through the regulatory approval. They have already been proven to be safe. It's hoped more than two million Australians could reap the benefits of a drug breakthrough being used to treat osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis is a degenerative joint condition that affects about 2.1 million Australians. One of our most promising young basketballers is part of a new medical trial and hopes it will prolong her career. Paradigm Biopharmaceuticals is looking to a very bright future. We have demonstrated our ability to execute on our clinical development plans. Paradigm Biopharmaceuticals is focusing on areas of unmet medical needs with very large markets and we are seeing life-changing results. A really life-changing moment for myself and I'm so glad I've been able to be a part of the trial.